Okay, so strap in everyone, because today we're diving headfirst into the world of esports. But, and here's the twist. There is always a twist. Always. We're not just looking at esports as it is, we're going deeper seeing how it fits into, get this, the world of education. Right, because those two things, at first glance, not exactly best buddies, right? Not at all. That's what makes this deep dive so fascinating. We've got an actual professional's resume to pick apart. Plus, get this, we've got these cool visuals breaking down their skills. Yeah, so it's like we're doing a DNA analysis, but for a career, I am so here for this. 100%. <laughs> and the subject's fascinating, Bradford Harris. Right off the bat, the resume, it screams education. Look at this. Instructional designer and educational technology strategist. Okay, I gotta be honest, even I'm feeling a little lost in the jargon here. It sounds important, but like, what does someone with that title actually do? Paint pixels on a PowerPoint all day. You're not wrong to think those titles can get a little uh, overblown sometimes, but with Bradford, this isn't just making presentations. Think about it. An instructional designer figures out the best way for people to learn especially when you throw technology into the mix. Okay, so not just what tech, but how to use it so kids actually learn something. You got it. And the cool part with Bradford, imagine designing a classroom where it's not just about tablets and screens, but using the ideas behind games, the fun stuff, to actually make learning stick. Wait, so instead of just handing a kid Minecraft and saying, go learn history, mm -hmm. it's more like designing the whole lesson around a game-like world. Exactly. And when you look at his career, this wasn't some random idea that popped into his head. This guy was born for this. Look, he starts out in traditional education teacher, the whole nine yards. But then, bam, technology facilitator, digital learning specialist. He was pulled towards the tech side early on. So he wasn't fighting against it. He was like, bring on the robots. And then I'm guessing, boom, esports enters the chat. Oh, yeah. And it's not just like a side hustle. This is woven into the fabric of his career. Look at this director of digital innovation at Aldean ISD. And then later... Scholastic account executive for Generation Esports. Yeah. This is my building a career where esports and education meet, you know. Okay, but it gets even better, right? Because this isn't just a nine to five for him. We've got volunteering here, board member for the Texas Scholastic Esports Federation, Tech Sex FF for us cool kids, and a leader in the network of Academic Esports Federation or NASF. That tells you something about his dedication. It screams passion, right? This isn't just a job. It's like he's on a mission to show everyone how powerful esports can be when it comes to teaching. Yeah, and to think, we're just scratching the surface here. This deep dive is about to get interesting. <laughs> okay, so we've seen how seriously passionate Bradford is about getting esports into the classroom. Right oh, now. absolutely. It's like his mission. But passion only gets you so far, am I right? We've got these cool visuals breaking down his actual skills. Right, the how behind the what. Exactly. And it's not just your average, oh, he can code stuff, what jumps out at you. Balance, honestly. He's got the tech chops, no doubt. But look, communication, implementation, coaching, it's all right there up front. So not just a techie hiding in a dark room somewhere. This is a people person. 100%. Mm. This is someone who doesn't just use tech. They get other people excited about it. You know? Okay, that makes way more sense now. Like, I'm picturing him leading a workshop one minute, then presenting to a school board the next. Exactly. Speaking of which, Articulate 360 is on here. I know that one. It's for making those explainer videos. Yeah, super popular. But is that all it's good for in education? Seems a bit, I don't know, basic. Oh, you'd be surprised. Think beyond just the standard talking head video. Articulate can make interactive stuff, almost like mini games, but inside a lesson. Whoa, okay, now that is cool. Suddenly, way more engaging for students. So, tying it back to Bradford, we're not just talking about a tech whiz, right? We're talking about someone who uses those tools to actually change how people learn. 100%. And that combo, the tech skills, PLUS, the people skills, that's gold. That's how you bridge the gap between like the tech world and the education world. Because I don't always see eye to eye, let's be honest. Not always. Maybe. But Bradford, he can speak both languages. The translator we all need. Okay, but there's one thing on this resume that just, I don't know, it's like calling out to me. Hit me with it. The eSports education playbook. Sounds kind of <laughs> intense, right? Like what even is that? Secret strategies for becoming a pro gamer. Knowing Bradford. Probably not about racking up those kill streaks, huh? Right. So what, like a guidebook for teachers? Esports 101. Tame your classroom. Closer, I'd say. Imagine it's like his master plan, right? 
how to take esports and actually weave it into lessons in a way that doesn't make teachers want to pull their hair out. Okay, that makes way more sense. And it ties back to what we were saying before about his work with TechSef, aligning everything with standards. Yeah, the dreaded S word. Because if there's one thing teachers have too much of, it's free time, ha ha. Right, so this isn't about ditching the textbooks and just like Fortnite Fridays every week. <laughs> More like finding the sneaky learning moments already in esports. 100%. Think about it. Teamwork, communication, strategy. Those are things you learn in any game, right? And those are the skills employers are begging for. It's like the ultimate Trojan horse of education, sneaking in those skills while everyone's distracted having fun. Exactly. And let's not forget the whole digital citizenship thing. Oh, Hugh, GE, especially these days. Right. Like how to behave online, responsible gaming, all that jazz. Esports can teach you that stuff in a way that's actually, well, relevant to kids today. Way more than a lecture from some old guy in a tire. Ah, uh -huh, for sure. What's really wild is the timing of this playbook. November 2020. Wait, hold up. That's peak pandemic, right? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Everyone's stuck at home. Teachers are scrambling to make remote learning work. And suddenly, this playbook, it's not just interesting, it's like essential reading. Bradford, the esports prophet, predicting the future of education through gaming. Okay, I am sold. Right. <laughs> this deep dive, it makes you wonder what else is out there. You know, that's just one person, but clearly, passionate people are changing the game. 100%. And for anyone listening, seriously, if you get the chance to catch one of Bradford's workshops or even just check out his podcast, it's called Tinkerpod. Do it. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, that's what this is all about, right? Finding new tools, new approaches to make education actually work for everyone. Not just work, but be something kids are excited about. Exactly. And whether it's esports or who knows what the next big thing will be, Bradford's work, it's a reminder that we can all be part of shaping the future of learning. And on that note, we'll catch you all on the next deep dive. <laughs>